Hey guys, it's been such a long time since I filmed my last desk makeover video that I figured it'd be a good time to do an update now that I've moved. I hope you guys like how it looks now and if you are looking for some ideas, some aesthetics, you know, I'm pretty impressed with how it looks now. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, if you enjoy it, don't forget, you gotta like, you gotta comment, and you gotta subscribe. I'm just gonna go through my whole setup. I'm gonna go right to left. I barely have anything going on with my walls. I definitely wanna like decorate this wall a bit more and I consider this part of my desk because the whole vibe has to be there, right? So, um, but over here I have my computer and this cute little fake plant that I got from Ikea. You might know it. And I thought it was kind of cute and just kind of it's a little bit of a atmosphere. Over here I have um, some things. I have my little storage unit where I put little things, picks, crazy glue, batteries, uh, SD cards, Pro Controller for my Switch, and this really awesome desk vacuum. It's so useful. Like It's a little bit dusty, so I'm just gonna... Oh, that's not actually dust it's like a piece of that's like marker or something but it's really handy especially if you're someone who eats at your desk which i totally get i eat at my desk a lot i don't really like the logo just being on Tris life so i'm gonna go ahead and put some like stickers on that tissues back there you know got my airpods pro over here got my phone here it's just uh chilling usually i put my phone on this little stand but here i have my pens and everything so that's pretty much this whole area okay moving on to like the middle section it really is a collection of a bunch of stuff of course i'm using my acrylic monitor riser which i got and you saw that in my previous video if you watched it but uh yeah i still use it it's great it's awesome i get to like put so much stuff on there and also store things on the bottom i got my little keyboard which is super dusty yeah, let's start with underneath. So keyboard, and then I have like just some odds and ends, some random what do I have in here. A little power bank, but it takes all day to charge just to give me like I feel like 70%, but it's still cute. I don't know. Tape measure, not for measuring myself, but for measuring things so I can buy stuff online. Yep. Lip glosses, some sanitizer. Sounds about right for me. But that's just random stuff when I have things on my desk. I just have to throw it in something. That's what I use. And then uh, I have my Devoom speaker. So actually for my setup, it's really important that I have this because first of all, the quality on this thing is amazing. It gets super loud. And um, I mean, at first, like it didn't seem like something I really needed, but it actually became very useful because my speakers only hook up to one monitor. But since like I have my setup here, so you can hear it. And that's because it's connected to the speakers for my monitor setup. But for my computer, this is what I use. I have some other random little stuff. I have this like little incense cone thing. It smells really good and I like I like the message on it, of course. Y'all know me. My beloved 3DS that I've had almost 11 years now, I've had this. I don't know how I've maintained this for so long. It's just amazing. Like that's a crack that I had to glue with crazy glue. I don't recommend crazy glue for your electronics like this, but I actually had to do one repair on this. Well, two repairs technically. The other repair was like this, um, the joystick. It actually peeled right off because it's like a silicone joystick. So what I did was I got like a plasticky one, I think from Amazon and I had to do it myself. So I had to take this whole thing apart and put it in there. And it was like, honestly, it was like the most tech thing I've ever done. It was a lot of fun though. Like I felt super like accomplished when I did it because I'm like, yes, I'm gonna get another like good 20, 30 years out of this. Hopefully, I don't know. And what game do I have in here? I think it's Animal Crossing. Oh, those are the days. Those. And this is like a little thing for my Switch games. Isn't that cute? Yeah, it's nostalgic. It's interesting that I got a pink 3DS because I think at the time, like I wasn't really into pink, but for some reason I wanted a pink one because I'm like, I want it to be cute. 
Thank you 2013 me for getting a pink DS. It's so cute. Um, yeah, and then I have my little fan here, which is super handy, especially when I'm working out and I'll explain how I work out here, <laughs> but it's very handy to have. It's very nice. And I just decorate with some stickers and a bow cause you know, coquette life. I have my laptop with this cute little stand that I use. It's really good if you're trying to save space on your desk to get like one of these upright stands, very helpful. There's also space for another one to so put your like iPad or whatever as well. This little mug warmer, which is really handy. This one's not aesthetic, it's so retro. Like, like you know, the dial to turn on your stuff is just so old, but it's so good. It's actually really effective. This is so hot, so it really does work. Uh, I'm gonna decorate this too with stickers so it looks better. I had like a more aesthetic one in the past and honestly, it did not work that well. So this one really works. Got my AirPods, which I recently put these like new covers on them. I love them so much. It has like a pink tint to it. So it's very subtle, but I like it. And then this also has a pink tint, but you can't tell because it's like a silicone plastic that like, a silicone plastic. <laughs> what am I saying? It's like, it has a pink tint as well, but I like it. AirPods Pro, I got my AirPods Pro Max. Both are very useful in different cases, so. Got my gratitude journal, which I write in every single day since I got it. And then on the bottom here, I've got my planner. Yeah, so that's basically it. Let me just go through the lighting really quickly. I have this Ikea lamp and it's pretty good when I want some more light all over. And then when I'm trying to like focus on something, like if I'm doing my nails or something, I'll turn it down so I can really get in there. I did my nails recently, so you're gonna see them because I worked hard on these nails. This light that I got from Amazon, it's really vibrant in person. So I do also have some strip lights at the back of my monitor. My strip lights here and my mount holder, my two monitors, it works pretty well. I can also move the monitors. I don't feel like doing it right now, but I can move it so it's pretty good. It's basically the desk setup as it stands and even more versatile because I can exercise here and I'll show you how. So because I have a standing desk now, it's a pretty nice way to exercise in my small space. As you guys know, stepper with a little ankle and wrist bracelets. <laughs> what is it? A bracelet? Weights. Wrists and ankle weights. Yeah. And got my little foot rest so that my my footies, my footies can be comfy. So I have my base amp here. Now I don't really have space right now for an amp. Like I could find some space in my closet, but you know, I don't think that's gonna be very conducive of me actually practicing. So I do have it here. It does take up a lot of space. It's not a super small amp. There are smaller kind of like amps out there. I think uh, I've got some strings on top that I need to change. Um, but yeah, and I got my little garbage can. My Lord, are you see, you can tell I tried to like get white cable so it's less obvious. <laughs> actually somebody was like, oh my God, you can't have like a metal like tray and like have that um like a power strip in there and stuff and i'm like they're like it's a no-no and i'm like oh, okay well if it's a no-no then it's just gonna stay a no-no it's probably a lot of like a million other things here that's wrong but like i don't know it works i've had this like this for years so far since i've gotten this and the setup was around the same thing and honestly it's been pretty good i mean i don't really like, touch the cables back there or anything but that strip being overloaded as far as the cables looking crazy. I'm not gonna be bothered too much right now, sorry. Since I moved here, I haven't really like fixed it. I just need to like get this up and running. So that's part of it. I know I have my degree just like squashed in the corner like that. But anyways, this is my storage and this is where I put away all my stuff. So it's like really not so great looking. Just a lot of random stuff in here. Ooh, lots of random stuff that I have to get through so much stuff. It's crazy. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, let's bring this back down. <laughs> but of course, if you do have a standing setup, it's important to make sure that the cables don't pull when it's going up and down. And actually, I should also mention my desk chair that I'm currently using. So it's still the Omega Secret Lab chair that I have. Some covers um, that 
it's like a universal cover um i had it on the top i removed it because i don't know i just got tired of it recently so i removed it and uh, it also looked kind of like messy because this is very clean looking oh even though i don't like the color very much i actually when i purchased this i thought it was more of a beige this chair is not my favorite chair it does hurt my butt as you can see i have like a cushion under there upgrading my chair hopefully this year um later than sooner later than sooner because <laughs> You know, a chair is an investment. Maybe I'll have to get a Herman Miller chair or something. I need something that's like actually a decent office chair, not like a gaming chair. Because first of all, I really don't, I'm not a huge fan of how this looks aesthetically anyways, just like the shape of it. So I need something more aesthetic. But for now, this is what I have, so I gotta use it. The one note about the lighting is that I am um, also, like I do have light sources around me. Hello. I have this, sorry, I don't really wanna show with the reflection. <laughs> Well, everything is just in flux but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this tour of my desk where it is right now i really like how it looks of course there's some things that i want to change like i mentioned this corner over here maybe getting a little bit more art and stuff to put up here on the wall and of course like the cable stuff and also making this whole area look a little more aesthetic because it's not very visually pleasing um it's a lot of fun to like decorate your desk and make it your own so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough tour thanks for watching bye